Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we reached Pacific Lock City. That it, theoretically seems like a very cool place, but in reality, it is terrible and full of disease. Thankfully, they have a hospital. Unfortunately, that hospital only works for animals, and the nurse likes it when your animals get injured. Anyways, we're gonna explore um, some of Pacific Log Town. Isn't it neat? Those houses on water. I was born here. I again, I'm very sorry. Sky Pillar? Oh, you mean that tall, tall tower a little further out? That's actually the island I was talking about in the previous part. If you ask me, I wouldn't climb it. It's too scary to get up that high. Life at sea level and... Life at sea level in Pacific Log, that suits me fine. Well, especially with all the diarrhea that probably happens around here. Just keeping it real, people. There are three Pokemon that represent the power of rock, ice, and steel. Each of them is set to hide away deep inside caves. That's the story I heard when I was just a little kid. Six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what it means. We'll actually get into that in just a couple parts. Like the part after next part. Pacific Logdown, where the morning sun smiles upon the waters. The brown waters. I'm sorry if this disgusts you, but I'm really keeping it real. Saying that they saw a Pokemon flying above Hoenn. Is it flying around all the time? Doesn't it need to rest somewhere? People have been talking about that quite a lot. A sky Pokemon! A sky Pokemon! Where did you come from? Yes. Yes? Yes Town? I've never heard of a place like that. Where did you come? No Town. No? That doesn't make any sense. You have to come from somewhere. Oh wait, you're not saying that you were born at the bottom of the sea? Just to answer your question, guys, that everybody is probably thinking... Brendan and Norman are from... Johto. Specifically, they're from Olivine City. Won't be able to see them in gold and silver because this actually takes place at the same time as Gen 1. <coughs> I am the Pokemon Fans Club most important person, the Jermaz's younger brother. It's funny that the sibling is more important than the actual head. I'm enjoying my vacation with Pokemon here. Yes, indeed. Ah, your Pokemon. He clearly likes you very much. A Pokemon that's adorable and adorable deserves a demon like this, no? That should contain return. If a Pokemon likes you, returns power is enhanced. If it doesn't like you, frustration powers go up. TM27 would contain return. Um, if you actually have a Pokemon that you've recently captured, well, that Pokemon will act you'll actually get frustration in return. Frustration is like the dumbest move ever because guess how what you need to do to make a Pokemon hate you? Feed it bitter medicine and let it faint in battle constantly. How to make a Pokemon like you? Walk! Every 250 steps you'd make increases the happiness by one level. I'm not kidding you. Frustration is useless and return is awesome. Let's see between... Okay, I already talked to you. There's something interesting in one of these houses. Is that a Pokedex? Did you meet a lot of different Pokemon? I wish I was like you. The place looks expensive, fair and tight, but it is empty. I'll break it to get a rupee. Check out this horsey. This is the horsey I got yesterday to celebrate my birthday. Oh, I can see you want it. After all, it's priceless. I'll tell you what, I might be willing to trade it for a Bagon. Okay, we will not be able to get Bagon for a long, long, long time. And Bagon itself is a really good Pokemon, but I'll get into Bagon when we actually can encounter with that. 
in the very last episode. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but that's where I'm gonna cover Bagon. Now, Horsey is not a bad Pokemon. It has balanced stats and evolved into Seedra, but has poison type as its ability. Trade it with a water scale to get Kingdra, which is only weak to Dragon. Good Sweeper, decent stats. Horsey can also be found with a Super Rod, so, and because Bagon is such is much more rare and much better stats when Bagon evolves, I wouldn't say to trade it. Now in Ruby and Sapphire, he'll give you a Corsola for a Blossom, which can be found, which Corsola can also be found with a Super Rod. Though as you're diving around to Topless City, you can also find it there. That is why I never covered Course Law earlier because I wanted to talk about it now. Course Law is a water rock type, just like Relicanth. However, like I said before, I prefer water ground types, which you can get at the very beginning of the game in the form of Mudkip. There are so much better water types that you can catch earlier in the game. So, you know what I have to say to you? Nope! Oh, you're not going to go through with this? That's cool. I'm not desperate to make a trade or anything. Does it say it's anything? Wow, you assigned an event to every one of those prides, didn't you? Oh well. Anything interesting in this house at the very end? Oh yes! Mirage Island, it must become visible and invisible depending on weather conditions that make mirages appear. Is it really appearing and disappearing? I can't see Mirage Island today. Let me tell you something. Mirage Island, that is a jerk. Let me tell you about Mirage Island. Basically, whether it appears or not depends on whether you have a Pokemon in your party that has a very specific value in its nature value. And I covered nature values a long time ago when explaining about how Wurmple evolves. So, whether or not Mirage Island appears or not really depends on such a small factor. That's like less in one million chance of getting Mirage Island to appear. And once it does appear, it's not even that great. It's the only place where you can find wild why not, and there's a specific berry that can only grow there. Not that great of a place. And I actually can't run on this city, I have no idea why. Then again, I'm not running into a wild Pokemon, even though my feet uh, is in the water. Did I check this house already? Yes, I did. Alright, let me tell you. We're actually coming up close to that side quest that requires you to have a Wheel Lord and a Relicanth. Oh boy. Time to move some Pokemon around. I'm never gonna get over the pack that I have so many feedbacks. Alright. Move Willord. And Wilmer, you're gonna have to go into the PC. Relicanth. I guess I'll switch with Wingle. Which in turn I'll switch with Swamper. And get it back here. All right. And let me go ahead and check the requirements real quick for this to make sure that I have everything. Okay, this is what you must do. First of all, of course, you're gonna need Surf and Dive, which I'm going to go ahead and teach right now. And you'll also need a Pokemon that knows Dig. Let's see if I actually... Yes, I do. However, this is my last TM. 
Thankfully, I don't usually use DM, so I'm not gonna be too upset if I go ahead and lose this one. Future generations, generation 5 and later, you can use DMs multiple times, but in this game, not the case. Anyways, first of all, let's see if I can teach Dig to anyone. Yes, I can teach it to Lee, but I do not want to teach it to Lee. In the meantime, I can go ahead and teach Surf to that Willlord. Get rid of Rollout, even though the Rollout is a really good move. And dive, obviously. Actually... Let's teach dive to Relicanth, since I'm not gonna use Relicanth either. Teach Eiffel all HM move. Get rid of Water Gun, because that sucks now. And let's go ahead and search for a Pokemon that can use Dig. And actually, summary, let's go ahead and check moves. You are filled up with HM moves, so I say no, no. Don't want to do it to my shiny slow rock. Uh. Actually, I know that Nikata might learn Dig, so let's go ahead and switch Lee out. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it is based off a Nikata, so I assume that they might be able to Dig. Yes, it is able. And I actually forgot that I named him Cut. And as you can see, that gets rid of the TM. However, I think that you can go ahead and buy it later on anyways. So guys, that's pretty much all our requirements. Well, you know what's up. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we're actually gonna move on to the next route, which should be Route 132. I'll see you guys then.